South Africa. <laughs> oh wait, I want to show them this though. Look at that guys, there's an elephant on the license plates here. What are we doing today, Kim? We are going shopping for one of these for ourselves. I want to talk about what a dream car means for you. Oh. So, what does a dream car mean for you, Kim? What does a dream car need to have? This is very specific and we've been talking about it for a little while now. So, a dream car needs to be an SUV, needs to have 4x4 drive, it needs to be an automatic, needs to be under 100,000 miles on the clock, it needs to be used because I'm not going to pay for a new car. My dream car is not a new car because that would make me uncomfortable driving it, like I just, I think it's a waste. I don't like to waste. If I was getting my real, real dream car, I think it would be like a Toyota because they're really good cars. Here's already some town. Oh, sorry, this is really not a nice part to show off. No, I mean, this isn't like, I wouldn't even call this my hometown. This is like a town that I lived in for a year before I left it in South Africa. And I didn't even live like here for a year, only in this specific area for like six months. It's like super s small. Small town. Small town. So, babe, um, do you yeah. think that we're going to I walk don't. away with a car today? I don't think we're going to walk away with a car today. Considering Kim's shopping style, it's look at everything three times and then make a decision. So, I give it till the weekend. Honestly, like... No, I'm a, joking. That's not fair. With a car, I feel like we're super ready to just buy something and make a decision as long as it, like, meets the requirement. Because the reason we need four buy is because we're planning something super fun. This place here says... Quality pre-owned cars. I don't think they're gonna have much, so but let's see. Yeah. All right. Lots to look at. Yeah, you go. Right. I'm gonna go. You're gonna film me. Oh no. Film you. All right. Cool. So we're looking at a uh, a Toyota Fortuna, which is probably like our dream car because it's automatic. I would be able to drive as well because I'm never gonna learn how to drive a manual car. That's just not something um, in my life. But so like my concern is just how big it is. If we want like four by four capability, then. It's gonna be like a good car to have, you know what I mean? But this car specifically, I don't think is full by. I think it's just got diff lock. The thing is, like, our plan is to sell back the car. Like, so we'll basically use it for the six months that we're in South Africa, or six months to a year, and then sell it back. We're not gonna take this one for a test drive yet. We're gonna go and look at a bunch of other dealerships first to get a better idea of what's on the market. And then maybe we'll come back here and have a look at this car, but it is a good option. So now that we're not like in the vicinity of the that people try and sell us the, sell car, us the car, what do you think? I think that the car the engine sounded a little funny when he turned it on. Yeah, it sounded it had like a high pitched sound, which yeah, I don't strong. quite trust, understand no. It's not four by, it's only got diff lock. This was the price much higher than what we what we were are are expecting, but I think for that car specifically, it's a good price. It's a good price. Yeah, but we'll go to some other places now, I guess, and like see what they have and kind of just do the same thing at a few places. That was the best. Nothing. I think like what we're trying to find is really hard. We're trying to find like the perfect car for the perfect price. And of course it's going to take a while to find. So I guess we're off to the next place. It's really funny though, because like, I think like, I guess it's because like I'm from America. And so what kind of cars we have are so different to what's here. It's like what we're trying to look for in America is probably the most common car. Like every single car in California is a SUV. That's a four by four and an automatic and like about 10 to $20,000. That's like the, the car that exists. Guys. Ah. Surf check. surf check! Even though we don't have surfboards. Jordi doesn't have a surfboard and I don't have a wetsuit yet. Yeah, so. It got lost in the mail and it's been there for like three weeks. Yeah. But this is the beach. This is the beach. Look, there's people surfing. Where? There, right in front. Right in front? Oh. What are you being called? This is my penguin dance. <laughs> you are like a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's more of Africa, you guys. Can you believe it that this is all Africa? It's like the most residential suburban part of Africa. All right, place number three. Low hopes, because this is owned by the last one we went to. Yeah, but they didn't. They hadn't checked it yet, so oh, let's okay. just see. Let's yeah. just ask. No cars for us there. I don't really know what to say at this point. I'm losing hope. Oh no, I guess I'm not losing hope. We've only searched three yes, places. Three, That's really dramatic. Three places and you're like, oh, should we just get this car? Should we just get that car? Should we just get that car? <laughs> I just can't believe all the four bys are so massive here. Like, why does it have to be such a big car? My car's so little and it's a four by four. Just stopped another place. Of course, I don't have the car that we're looking for because the car that we're looking for is like 
ridiculous it's like the most common car in america the, the least common in south africa <laughs> apparently so they only had one which is out of our price range and it's a bucky we don't really want to get a bucky so a, a bucky means uh like a pickup truck it's a pick it's a truck so we'll I guess this see is like the cool, this is like the interesting challenges of shopping for a car in like a foreign place as a foreigner i don't know I don't know. Let's see. Off to the next place. No! Off to get a pie! Day two of car shopping! And it's fully rainy. So this isn't the one we saw, is it? I don't think so. I actually think that might be the one we saw, but it's Seoul. Oh, it's Seoul! It said it's Seoul, but I don't know if that's the one. Let's go have a look at it. Okay. Uh, I think this no. might have been it. No, it's not. It's not. Oh, nice. Super nice. Yeah. But maybe too new. It's immaculate interior like really nice uh oh no what look oh it's it's manual manual this isn't the car we saw no the man that's a bummer oh my god i look so cold oh it's freezing though <laughs> it's, cold. it's such a bummer yeah. uh, um the one that we wanted to get sold yesterday after we saw it online and do you know why it sold yesterday and not to us yesterday I wanted to go home. I thought for sure it was still going to be here. Like, Jordy oh. wanted to go home and he didn't want to go to another shop yesterday. So we didn't go yesterday and then we missed out on the car. What do you have to say? I'm sorry. I feel like we're playing with the big boys now. Oh, because we're going to like an actual dealership. And because we've decided what we want. Just arrived at Toyota. I'm not vlogging outside because it's raining and it's freezing. So we'll keep you in here nice and warm. I'm like a penguin. Speaking of penguins. Are we gonna go see penguins in Cape Town while we're here? Yeah. Wow, this is a really nice Jeep. We basically knew how much you think it would cost. A million dollars. Yeah, probably. It's, it's like, automatic. It's automatic and probably full bar. Oh man, this Unreal. is my dream car. Okay, let's go chat to somebody. By the way, you have some very important people to meet. Oh. This is my new shirt. Oscar say hi. <coughs> Babushka is the mom. She was just there. And then these are their babies. Hello. You want to be in the vlog? We are back and we actually think we might have found a car yeah. finally. It turns so easy. It turns so easy. Yeah, this drives much better than the car yesterday. So this is a Jeep. Grand um, Cherokee. Overlander. Overlander. From okay. 2013. 2013, 4x4 auto. Automatic, and look look at how fancy, fancy this is. So the 4x4, you can decide whether to put it on four-wheel four drive and make the car low, whether to put it on sport mode, snow mode, sand and mud, and rock yeah. mode. It has a aux cable, has a navigation system built in. So we have the aircon, aircon and heated seats. And then here, we actually have a panoramic sunroof. Oh oh, 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 okay. And Kim opened the whole. Thing. I opened the whole sunroof. Whoa. So I would say that this, like, if we were, if we were to get this, which I think we're going to, this will be the nicest car I've ever been in. I've done enough of a test drive. Before we leave this area, Kimmy's gonna do a good test drive, and then we'll take it on the highway to see how it goes on the highway. We test drove a Volkswagen from the same dealership yesterday, and it was my first time ever driving with the wheel on that side of the car. Which is so different. It's like, so different. The biggest problem was like, I'm so used to all the side of the car being there, and this time it felt like there was so much car on this side that I was constantly way too close to like the trees and everything here. So I don't know, it's kind of scary. Okay, I figured it out. How fancy is that? Holy cow. I feel much more confident than I did yesterday. Take a left, yeah. I'm starting to get the sense of the whole car being on that side of the road. Cause I mean, I know how to drive. Like I'm a, I'm a good driver. It's just getting used to a new car and a new country and a new everything. But look, I'm doing it. The reason we're getting an automatic car is so that I can drive it because I've not like to learn to drive a manual on the wrong side of the road. Like all of those things at once is just too much. But this is, this is a very big car. So it's kind of like to get 
to get used to, to, get to the car. Used to the yeah, car. yeah, that makes sense. Like, of course, it's gonna take some time. And and I don't know if we've told you guys like the reason we're trying we're looking for such a fancy car essentially like this is because we have to have four by four drive and it has to be a big car because we're planning to go to Mozambique and a lot of the surf spots here are like in sand like we're gonna have to go to Mozambique we're gonna have to go like on the beach basically like in sand and, if, and everybody we've talked to said you absolutely you cannot go there without a four by four drive but this is really pretty look at Africa everybody this is Africa this is Africa decide to get the jeep and we just picked it up today it's been a whole week we had to wait a really long time for like uh wire transfers and stuff but we finally have it we're now all set to go on our next adventure yeah we've been stuck here for a few days for like two weeks actually two weeks trying to find a car and um it paid off because i guess we just found the best car that you could possibly find. So we're super happy about that. Cool, well that's going to be the end of today's vlog. If you like this video, please be sure to go and watch another one of our videos because it really helps our channel grow.